Hi everyone, I'm Sam, and this is my aquarium computer. This is what I'd consider a case build for my already working computer. My computer is decent with an R9 270X, but really I don't need an oil cooled, which is what this is. Basically, it's glass separating water and mineral oil as you can see here, but from most angles it looks like one piece altogether. If you don't know about mineral oil cooled computers, I suggest you look it up on Google. There's a lot of really cool people that have built uh, mineral oil computers. But basically what happens is that mineral oil liquid is non-conductive, so it won't fry the computer. A fun thing that I did at the beginning of this build was just like pick up a quart of mineral oil at CVS and drop an LED light in there with the battery. It works great. And this helped resolve my skepticism of the whole mineral oil non-conductivity thing. Getting back on topic, I really just built this for the fun of it. Not really trying to achieve any insane overclocks. So if you're the kind of person that wants these crazy overclocks, you should probably go the custom water loop instead of this. This is really just a cool experiment that turned into a case for my computer. So, the parts you'll need for this case... <clears throat> Um, to build is first off you need a 15 or 20 gallon fish tank. This depends on how many fish you want in here. Personally I went with a 15 gallon fish tank because a 20 was a little too big to fit on my desk. The second item you'll need is glass. You can choose either double or single pane. I chose single but looking on back on it now I think double pane is a better idea so you won't have to worry about as much as the fish's water heating up. Okay, so the measurements for your glass will depend on your motherboard size plus your power supply size. So for this, I'd recommend measuring both of their widths and then adding them up. This is sort of like for the motherboard, this is the part where you put all the ports in everything. And then for the um, power supply, this is either the part where you stick the power converter in or the part where all the, where all the um, power cords come out of. What you need to do with this is then you take both of those together and then you add them up. You should probably also add one or two inches onto that number so it'll actually fit. That will be one of the glasses length and then you have the shorter other glass piece that I have as you can see right here and this will be the height of your graphics card or your CPU depending on which one is, is um, taller. You just, you just add probably an extra inch to that and then the next thing you'll need for this project is a sheet of plexiglass. For this, the thickness doesn't really matter because it's really just me a mount for your computer. Just make sure for your size, it's a little smaller than the first piece of glass you cut so it will actually fit in there. On this piece, you'll need to drill holes where the motherboard are, where the holes on the motherboard are. For these place of holes, uh, your motherboard should be on the top left corner so that you see so you can reach all your ports and then in the power supply will be on the top or, or sort of middle top right hand corner and for the power supply what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take off the uh, the top part of it and then you're going to want to tap holes into that and tapping is basically when you make a thread like fine or coarse thread so the screw can grab onto it so when you're screwing this in you don't have to do anything really complicated or funky so after doing this you'll need to mount your motherboard to the plexiglass and also mount your uh, power supply now that you do this just put that to the side and what you need to do is go back to your aquarium and glue the two pieces of glass uh, onto the aquarium uh, make sure they are really tight tight fitting together and then use uh, aquarium safe silicon glue and let that dry for a day or so then just check that it's a watertight seal so you don't have any really big problems and then after that you want to wire your computer up that's mounted to the plexiglass and then slowly drop into the area that you cut off for the computer then you fill this area with mineral oil and you fill the outside area which should be more water that's going to be going in there and then take care while you're doing this not to spill 
water onto your computer. I think that might be kind of self-explanatory, but just be really careful because this is kind of a dangerous, maybe it was a bad idea, I don't know. I've had mine working for about a month now and it's been doing great. So at this point, you'll get a heater and filter for your aquarium side. And this is the, kind of the fun part when you get to just put fish and anything else over there. You just, this is your aquarium pretty much portion of it. And then, so once that's all done, you're good to go. If you're having any problems with overheating where your aquarium side where the fish are is getting, you know, a little warm for your comfort because maybe you have a more powerful graphics card than I do that puts out more heat or you just really want to overclock the crap out of it. In that case, what I suggest you should do is first off, do what I did and you can see right here is I actually, I have a, um, I have a top to this thing and then I mounted fans onto that. So then what I did is I got a fan controller so I can keep it nice and whatever I want it at percentages to make sure the heat doesn't go too high up while I was gaming or stuff like that. But if you need something that to cool it down even more, then you might want to consider getting a radiator and a pump and then hooking that up into your computer. This will really cool it down and it'll allow you to overclock it however much you want. The only downfall to that is that it's kind of expensive to do something like that. And thanks for watching this video on my aquarium PC case build.